Good afternoon. It's a great honor and privilege to be um, elected as a fellow of this esteemed uh, academy. Uh, and I would like to acknowledge and thank uh, my nominator, Tony Barry, and all my uh, referees and supporters. I've been asked to respond to three key questions, um, and I'm trying to get, take them one at a time. First, about me and, and a bit of an introduction. Um, so I'm a managing director of design, innovation, and eminence at Oricon. We are a global consulting engineering practice of 7,500 people across uh, three continents. And uh, we do service multiple sectors in industry, and we have a diverse uh, team of uh, engineers in all, in all disciplines. Myself, I'm a, you can call me a migrant engineer. I arrive here as a, um, a postgraduate student. I did my uh, uh, degree at the University of New South Wales, my, my master's and my PhD, but I'm born and bred in Iran. These are three cities that shaped my childhood. You can see on the top left-hand side. Um, and and I, my professional practice um, um, has spanned across the globe, ma mainly on iconic structures. Structural engineer by trade, and I've worked on major projects such as Wembley Stadium, Opal uh, Reactor in Sydney, multiple uh, s sports projects in Sydney Olympics, uh, Commonwealth Games, uh, commercial buildings in major cities, etc. How do I see the challenges from my perspective as a practic practicing engineer? Um, I've, I've seen my, if I look back at the last 25 years of my career, I can say my work has been on the pursuit of elegant solutions to well-defined problems. Uh, and I'd like to think that I've achieved um, something in that domain. But as I see uh, the world is changing, I see how problems are getting the problems we're facing are getting increasingly more complex, multidimensional, and interconnected in a way that one discipline solution is not sufficient and the problems are not well defined anymore. The problems are increasingly complex, messy, multidimensional, and need, I guess, a pursuit of elegant solution to wicked problems or messy problems. Issues such as um, uh, resilience uh, of infrastructure, um, uh, responding to t challenges of urbanization, adaptation to climate change, and um, how do we navigate transformation of industries through digitization are the sort of challenges we cannot solve in, through a lens of single discipline. I just put one of the problems there that we're currently tackling as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as an example is the uh, Hazelwood Power Station and its closure. And the complexity of how do you reimagine a, a, a problem like that, a social interconnected infrastructure social problem, to uh, how you fuse assets and services in new and creative ways to create a new prosperous future. So I think we should be the redefining engineering. That's my perspective. Our past has been around from a consulting engineering practice background. It was around problem solving. It has been highly technical, uh, specialist, um, analytical. We had to be reliable, accurate, and we were mo mostly we were looking at what is. The domain we're going to and now in the future is more about problem framing or problem finding, how you integrate things, how you translate, how we imagine, answering the what if questions, how we collaborate across disciplines, how we're more creating, how we connect the micro and the macro. And of course, responding to the trends, whether it's material uh, or, or technology. So in, in answer to the question of what's my contribution, I would like to be able to elevate the role of engineering and engineers in the public debate. I'd like to uh, engage uh, the public through more social, uh, uh, through more uh, storytelling. It's, a, it's, a, it's an activity that we are focusing a lot in our, um, in our, in our company. Um, uh, we've set up a design academy to make our best practitioners better storytellers. We are, we are good in talking amongst our own peers. We're not very good in connecting to um, public to decision makers, and the role we should be playing as engineers, shaping agenda and, and being at the top table and having those kind of conversation. I'd like to, be help, be, to help uh, through this platform to uh, be a voice or help to, be, to have a, a voice for engineering profession through media and other domain. 
um, my other colleague mentioned STEM, and I, I think that's so critical, and I think there's, there needs to be tackled that multi-dimension. For us, for as engineering, I think we need to keep communicating and telling the why of STEM. Why, would, why does it matter? Why engineering in particular, from my perspective, is so fundamental to our society. So we need to keep um, having that conversation. Are we established our own uh, in-house design academy globally to actually create future ready engineers? I would like to uh, be able to cascade the learning through that and what we are, the, 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 um, um, the journey we're on through creation of future ready engineers. Um, my other colleagues mentioned a human-centered design. That's what we are uh, taking our, our, our team along that journey, how we see deeper meaning in what we do in terms of technical solution, how it touches stakeholders, people, communities, how we work better, uh, how we better uh, work across disciplines and how we collaborate better and ultimately how we co-create, not among ourselves in terms of technical people, but how we co-create with community, with clients and with, with others. Um, I'd like to drive better uh, the industry academic collaboration. It's been my, uh, I guess, uh, my background. I've kind of stayed in that domain of between academia and, and industry. I think there's a big gap in terms of, um, it was a very well uh, made point earlier about useful research versus publishable research. So how we bring these two better closer to actually create academic and industries are closer. And it's a two way issue that we have to address. And then I would like to use the professional and academic networks I have globally through various associations I'm involved with to, can, uh, to help with the, uh, to connect um, globally for the benefit of uh, ATSI. Thank you. Thank you.